y'all welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new i am back with another video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys my entire nail prep process that allows my sets to last for a month plus this video is long overdue and i've been using this method for a long time and it has been very successful for me on that cuticle area and all the way back down to the other side. This is perfect for getting in those nooks and crannies because it's very narrow, it's very like needle-like. So I could really get in there and remove all of that dead skin. This cuticle bit is from Amazon and you guys can find it in my Amazon storefront and my Amazon storefront is always linked in the description below.
long time because I didn't want to cut myself and I thought it was really like kind of unnecessary but um I was just curious one day and I still don't know what I'm doing I just kind of cut that excess like you know cuticle off so the tool is kind of like a pincher so yeah it comes very sharp so I just like pinch that pinched and cut that excess like cuticle off like I said y'all I don't know what I'm doing I'm just showing you <laughs> It does though look very much cleaner afterwards, but this isn't necessary. Well, not to me anyway. So this is how it looks after. So there is a difference, actually a bit of a difference. Um, yeah, but I don't know if I'll be doing that on a regular. So the next step, I go ahead and take a 240 stand and band so that I can remove the shine from the natural nail. You want to use a very, very fine grit when filing the natural nail so that you don't damage it over time. 240 grit is the finest grit there is. This is a regular sand and band. Um, it's probably like a 100 or 80 grit, something like that. And 80 grit is the coarsest grit there is. The higher the number, the finer the grit, and the lower the number, the coarser the grit. You can see the difference in the way they both look here. You can tell that the black one is obviously the finer grit. Again, it is very important that you use a fine grit when you're filing the natural nail so that you don't damage it over time. These are Panas 240 grit sand and bands and you guys can find them in my Amazon storefront. Alright, so just like before, taking that sand and band and going from the tip of the nail where the cuticle is all the way around. This step is very crucial and important to do correctly so that we can ensure we get no lifting. A lot of beginners struggle with that and I know because I've been there. You're afraid to go around the cuticle area because you don't want to cut your client and I get it. And you end up not going around the cuticle area thoroughly and you get lifting. So here's what you can do for practice. You can take a black sharpie marker and line around your cuticle area. Mark from the free edge of the cuticle up, around, and all the way down to the other side. That is the area in which you're going to file. Some got on my skin, but it's fine. You guys get the gif. Mark that cuticle line as close to the cuticle as possible. Then you're going to take your drill bit and file that off. When you're done, all of the black should be removed from the nail. When the black is removed, you know that you got around the cuticle area thoroughly. Practice doing this and you'll get the hang of it. As you can see, I'm very, very close to the cuticle, literally as close as possible, even touching my skin some, and that is another like importance in using a fine grit. Not only so you won't damage the nail plate over time if you use a coarser grit, which you certainly will if you do, but so if it does touch the skin, it is completely harmless and will not cut anyone. So the cuticle part is done. I just have the rest literally on my skin. You guys can see that whole entire white line or white rim around the nail. That is the first step. The next step is making sure that you remove the shine from the entire nail so that the natural oils on the skin or that comes from our nails does not cause the nail to lift. The whole nail should be white and roughed up once you're complete. I like to go in a back and forth motion diagonally towards the tip of the nail and then I go over any spots that I did miss. You want to do this very thoroughly so the whole nail is white and roughed up. You don't want to overdo it as well because like I said, you don't want to thin out the nail plate. You want to do it just enough. And it is good to go. I'm just going to do the same thing to the rest of the nails. Also another very, very important tip, especially when filing the natural nails, you don't want to leave the drill in one place. You want to keep it steadily moving. If you leave it in one spot for too long, it will cause a heat spike and your nail will burn. That is why sometimes, or if it does happen to you, your client gets that burning sensation. Um, also, you guys just saw me like um, touch the bay on my skin, and as you can see, it did not hurt or cut me because it is a very fine grit. Very important, y'all. Also, when I'm filing the natural nail, I have my drill at a lower speed. I forgot to mention that. That's very important as well. Higher speeds is not safe for filing the natural nail. You will damage it or cause a heat spike. Or it could even slip and like cut your client or yourself. So just be very careful with that. Also, just want to mention that prepping the nail should take like almost majority of the whole like nail process. If done thoroughly, prepping should be minimum 30 minutes. 
this is the foundation to make our nails last it is very 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 important you guys do this thoroughly and take the time to do each step thoroughly so that we can ensure we did everything we could to make the nails last yes there are other factors that can cause the nails to lift but prepping the nails is the foundation of it all that is the first step to ensuring that the nails last I will talk about other things in another video that will cause the nails to lift and all the steps to take to make sure that they don't. However, in this video, we're going to focus on prepping. Just wiping the nails off after dusting with some alcohol and we're going to move on to the next step. So this is how they are looking after that. Already a big difference. They look so clean, dead skin, and oil free and ready to go. Just a comparison between my prepped hand and unprepped hand. You can see that dead skin on the unprepped hand and all that oil. That is what we do not want. We want the nails to be oil free so that we don't have any lifting at all. Alright, next I'm going to be applying my tips. And of course, I'm going to be using a color Creamery's 3XL No Curve Square. Those are my favorite tips in the world. So I'm just going to be applying those. And I'm going to show you guys as well how to apply a tip to a Cricut nail or a Cricut finger. Um, I have two Cricut fingers. My index fingers on both hands are Cricut. They go like inward. I'm going to show you guys how to do that in a moment. When applying your... This to further ensure you don't have any air pockets that can cause the nails to lift and so that the acrylic can adhere to the nail well. Now you don't have to file the whole tip like I did. Um, it's a preference. Some people do. Um, you just have to make sure that you're blending that tip where the tip and the natural nail meet. You want to blend until when you're done. It literally looks like the nail tip is coming out of your own natural nail and you cannot see the line of demarcation. It is time for us to apply our liquids. The first thing that I go in with is Main Secrets Dehydrator. It is very important that you further dehydrate the nails to remove any excess oils or anything at all so that we can further assure no lifting because that is the goal. So I go in with two coats of that. And as you can see right after it's applied, it just turns the nail white again because it's literally dehydrating it. And of course, I got it from Amazon. I actually got it in a duo with Me Secret Primer, which I use as well in my prep process, which you guys will see here in a moment. You guys can find them both in my Amazon storefront. The next thing that I go in with is Young Nail Protein Bond. This is one of my holy, holy grails when it comes to my prepping process. This works so well. It's so good. I've been using it for a long time now. I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of this, but if you haven't, you need to like run and go get it. Young Nails Protein Bond. And not only do they have it on their website, they also recently put it on Amazon, which I was so happy to see. Well, not recently, but a little while ago. 
and it's cheaper on there as well like i said if you guys have not tried this i highly 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 recommend it i promise you it will step up your prepping game i do two coats of this as well as you will see i do two coats of all of my liquids and of course you guys can find this in my amazon storefront as well all right and the very last thing that i go in with is me secrets primer and of course i do two coats of that as well I'm gonna go ahead and put all of them on screen for you guys so that you guys can screenshot them i promise you guys if you have problem with lifting try this process out and let me know how it works for you guys a lot of people have attested to them trying this method out and it working for them so if you struggle with lifting or if you want your nails to last longer try out this process and let me know how it works for you guys all right guys so that is my process i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i really hope that it helps someone out there if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up leave your thoughts in the comment section below let me know if you did try this method as well subscribe to my channel and turn on those post notifications for many more videos like these so you guys won't miss them thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now